Tuesday! It does not feel like two weeks since the last time I reviewed something. So, the books that I've read these last two weeks have been quite different. Boye by Jonathan Triggle, I'm assuming his name is. It might be Trigel, but Triggle sounds quite entertaining. Now, the book itself, not exactly on the laughing side of things. It's a book about a guy who, similar to the Jamie Bulger case, wait to bring everyone down, Holly, he did something really bad to someone when he was young, which is revealed throughout the book. He did something bad to someone when he was, I think, nine or eight years old, was put in prison and has recently been released. So it's basically a book about him trying to get back on track, which comes across quite a social misunderstanding a lot of the time, as you would imagine from someone who's been in jail since they were a child. So this book, I actually saw the TV adaptation of it before I read the book, so that's really what got me into it. It helped that it had Andrew Garfield in it, who's the new Spider-Man. I've clearly not seen that film. But what I really wanted to see was where it came from, because you can only show so much on a TV show. So reading the book really brought it to life for me. It's not usually the type of book that I'm into. It is about something quite dark, and this poor teenage boy is being pushed back into the world after having no business in it from such a young age. And his thought processes are really old-fashioned, although not old, old-fashioned, just from a ten-year-old point of view. He hasn't really had the chance to develop or anything like that. He just is just stuck in this really naive world view. Now, I can't really go into that much detail about how the book goes, because that would spoil it for you, but you can imagine that things go a bit downhill. It wouldn't be a very good book. It was all smooth sailing now, would it? I would really recommend that you either read this or watch the TV thing, which I don't know how you would do that. Please find it and watch it. Because this book, it just reminds me of the quote, which I cannot remember for life of me which book it's from, Imagine People Complexly. Because even though he has something dark inside him, we don't know what other people are like at all. When he was eight years old, he had something in it that made him do a crime that is would never even cross my mind when I was eight. But he's trying to be a better person, trying to get back into society and be nice. And when I say nice, I just mean not. Spoilers! Shh. So book number two. Let's try and do this in one take. You may have seen the TV show of Hotel Babylon. I am obsessed with that TV show. And the books go with it. I watched the TV thing first, as with my previous book, and it blew my mind. It made me obsessed with hotels, even though it shows you all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Basically, they don't pay their staff well, they don't spend a lot of money on things, but then they charge so much, they hike up the prices for everything, and it's just one big con. I do love my con films and con TV shows, and a hotel is the biggest con there is. This book, it focuses on one person who is nameless, who is a receptionist, who works a 24 hour shift in the hotel, and it basically covers everything that happens. This is written by Anonymous, as well as Imogen Edward Jones, double bound names. How silly. I definitely don't have one of those myself. So the anonymous part is someone who actually worked in these really posh hotels and the real things that happened. They changed the names, some of the celebrity names. I'm not too sure if they changed because they are in here. But it's just like a big tell-all gossip con thing. It's my whole life in fandom and the internet. Just uh, one book. You can kind of tell I've read it quite a few times. It's a bit dog-eared, but it's going to get much more dog-eared. Excuse me. That's me done. I'm looking forward to these videos. They are so entertaining. Goodbye.